So, one of my favorite times at any event, getting this gentleman to join us. Alex, you always come and join us and, and give us some laughs. Thank you. You just got off a very tough match against Marcos Giron. How was it out there? Well, I think Marcos played a very good match. I was not ready f to be at that level today. You know, I was not, you know, I, I wasn't, a, maybe it was my, you know, bad bad decision or something but I was not ready for him to play at such a high level all the credits he played an unbelievable match I was a bit lucky at the end I, I broke him back so quickly because I was lucky I had made some incredible shots well yeah I mean I'm happy to get through and all the credits to his game he's, he's played unbelievable it's interesting when you say that so does that mean you sort of came in with a little less preparation sometimes no for but I mean matches, like or? you know sometimes you think of a guy and you look at the stats and be like, oh, this serve is like this, you know, this, this. and then he came in and eight aces in the first set. <laughs> and you'll be like, wow, I mean, good job, like, no problem, playing good, but I was not ready for it. So that's why I got, you know, I was yelling, screaming, saying whatever I think of. And I say to him at the net, I mean, if he's going to keep playing like this, he's got to be a great player. And yeah. wow, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm literally surprised. Now, listen, your, your serve is a marvel to watch. You always bring so much power, different aces, sometimes on the second serve, giant serves. I, I have to know. Riley Opelka, John Isner, they talked about the serve bots of the ATP Tour. And uh, I, I don't think they mentioned you in the first team. Now, do we take an insult from that? I can talk to Riley and let's <laughs> see what he's going to come up with. But I really think I should be considered as because I'm a first guy in aces now. Eight months past, I have 650 aces. And then Man, Riley, stats. I think John is right behind me with 580, and then Riley is right behind me with like 550. They for sure they're gonna pass me, but I mean at least I was there for eight months. I can tell it to my grandkids. You know what? You not only said you should be on there, you had the reason why you should be on there. I like it. Now let's talk victory celebrations. At the end, you gave it the arms out to the crowd. What were we signifying there? Are you not entertained? What were you giving the crowd? No, I mean, sometimes I do something, sometimes I clap. Depends, it depends on the mood. Like today, I felt like I have no power to clap or, you know, to yell or something. So that's what I did. I mean, I'm not a big fan of, you know, big celebrations as the guy do, you know, jumping, crying, you know, I don't know what the guys usually do, giving hearts to the, <laughs> I don't know, like everybody do different, but I'm not a big fan of it. But yeah, I mean, I just do sometimes, I do wave hands, sometimes I clap. That's what I did today. Okay, well, we liked it. Now, you're off to another challenging match in the next round. We're looking very much forward to it. You and Grigor Dimitrov. Surely there's going to be... Oh. A, a, oh, did you not look at the draw? No, I knew that he's playing against Bautista, but okay. I didn't know he won. Yeah, he came through. Played, okay. played good today. Good I'm him. sure there's going to be a great crowd to watch you guys. Now, I have a question. When you get in front of a huge crowd like that, is it tough to find the balance between the shot you're supposed to hit and going for that highlight reel shot? Well, probably a couple of years ago was tough, but now not. I got that offer from the guy in the crowd at four all. It's like serving underarm at four all at the breaker. <laughs> you can't listen to that. <laughs> you can't say that. What the hell is that? Oh, was like, he? I was like five all something like ah uh, five all, five all tie break, and he's like underarm sir. Boy, that, that that's just not good coaching. That's not <laughs> good coaching. I'd be like take her. I can do it. What the hell you want from me? Well, whatever decision you made on your own, it absolutely came through. Now, we're sitting here, we got this great view, all these fans here, and I notice a ping pong table over there. I can't tell if it's ping pong or table tennis, but some of the kids are pretty good over there. You know, you might want to bring your skills over there after our last we chat. We have a table in the, in the player's lounge. Are you taking anyone to school? Have you? So easy. <laughs> Anybody, anytime. Who have, you, who have you taken down over there? Any other? Nobody wants to play with me. Only my coach, and he always loses. He was, we play for exercise, so let's say you lose a set, you do like 10 exercises, like 10 reps or 10 seconds. So he lost 80 today in the morning oh before the match, 80. So he was doing 80 jumps and squats and push-ups today. But he's always losing. Poor guy's not going to be able to keep and, up. And he's playing with me every day. I play ping pong more than I play tennis. Uh, well, I'm going to have to come and check you out. Speaking of ping pong then, okay, last week I asked John Isner because he loves wrestling. Who he would like wrestling? to wrestling? Yeah, I mean that's that's his thing, you know. Wow. WWE. If he could wrestle against another player with some other wrestlers, he wanted to go against Gael Monfils. So if you that's actually a good choice. I think Gael is competitive, huh? I, 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 he's a little limber for John. I would pay to see that. Now, if you had to pick an opponent on the ping pong table, who would you take to school? I think Roger did a good job with the video recently. That was a good video. He tried hard, so I think yeah. I mean, if he's coming over again, then we should for sure we play. Okay, fantastic. Roger, there's been a challenge thrown out to you. Now, Alex, next time we have you here, just bring another one of your good stories because you know we love them. 
No, you ask me, I bring you. I have so many stories we can tell here for three hours. But most of them are not for the camera. I'll tell you after. <laughs> no, 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 please don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> Alex, you're the best of luck. Next round. Thank you very much. Ted, back to you.